guys, we are going to start this recipe off with two sticks of butter that are at room temperature. And we are going to add our sugar. And we're going to give that a really good mix until everything is real light and fluffy. So medium to high speed for about two minutes. Okay, everything is real light here. We are going to add one egg at room temperature and we are going to add our extracts. We're going to add vanilla extract and almond extract. And we're going to whip this again until very light and fluffy. We're going to scrape down the sides of the bowl first, guys. Make sure you get everything off the bottom. Okay, everything is real light and fluffy now. You can see the consistency here, just like that. Now we're going to start adding in our flour a little bit at a time. To the flour, I am going to add the salt and the baking powder. And we're going to give that a little mix. Make sure everything is mixed in there well. Okay, that should do it. Now we're going to add some a little bit at a time and starting off slow. Okay, we're going to take it down, scrape everything down, make sure there's no dry flour anywhere. And this should be good. I'm going to take it off the beater and transfer you back over to the counter. Okay guys, we have the dough here in a plate. I put on gloves because I'm going to add some food coloring. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of flour. This is my silicone mat because we're going to roll this out. And what we're going to do, we're going to cut this into three or try to make it equal parts. Because we're going to make the pinwheels in red, white, and blue. So, I think that looks about right. That's about right. Okay, let's start off. We are going to leave one of them this white color. It's not white, but I mean it's it's a little pale. It's a little beigey color, but that's okay. We're going to leave that one alone. We are going to take this one and we're going to put some red food coloring. I use gel food coloring because it doesn't loosen up your batter. And then you add as much as you want to, however dark you want to make it. Then you just roll it until you get the, the color you want. Okay, and that should be good for our red. Just like that. You can't see it because of the mat is red, but okay. We'll leave this one alone. Put it here. I'm going to wipe my gloves to try to get all that red off so I can do the blue one. Okay, and then we take our blue. Okay, and there we go. And there's, there's the blue. Look at how pretty that blue color is. Okay, and now it shouldn't transfer to my hands anymore. So now we are going to roll these out and into little rectangles and then we're going to place them one on top of each other so let's go ahead and go to that step okay now we're going to start off with our our blue it doesn't matter where you start off what color you start off i'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour just so that it doesn't stick it shouldn't stick because of the silicone mat but i really want to be able to pick it up i'm shaping it this way so i can get a a long rectangle and try to get them to get go even. Okay, that should be okay. Sprinkle a little bit of flour just so that nothing sticks. Okay, now we're going to roll out the red one. I hope you can see there. Okay, sprinkle some more flour. Okay, and now to move these aside so we can roll the white one, I just take the edges, like if you're going to roll a cinnamon roll or something, Roll it up like this, real nice and neat. I just keep it on top of a parchment paper just till we roll the white one. And let's put a little bit of flour there as well. And that should be good right there. Okay, now I'm going to roll this one up and get it out of the way. And we're going to start with the, with the red one. And sometimes it breaks and that's okay. It's not a big deal. Turn your cookie dough this way. See how it ripped a little bit? That's okay. Just pinch it back together. So there we have the red. 
white. I didn't go out far enough, but that's okay. And then we have the blue, which I had already rolled. So I'm just gonna flip it over on top. There we go. And it's okay if they're not perfect. I mean, what is perfect? All right, now we're gonna give this a roll. You may wanna sprinkle a little bit of flour. Seems like a lot of trouble, guys, but you know, you get a really cute cookie. I'm just gonna try to shape it just a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna cut this guy in half. Or you know, what you think is half. And then we're gonna roll it. You start rolling it in like this. Roll it up. I'm gonna try to get over here where you can see. Just start rolling it up like if you're making cinnamon rolls. Just try to be careful. Try to keep all the three layers together. Okay, there we go. Now we're just gonna pinch this together. Okay, we're gonna move this guy to the side and we're gonna do the same thing to this one. Okay, so roll it up. Just like if we're making cinnamon rolls. All right. Now we're gonna wrap this in clear plastic wrap and we're gonna put these in the refrigerator until they are nice and hard. Okay, put it in there and wrap it. Twist it. Squeeze it together. And then we do the other one. Okay, now we'll do the same thing to this one. I'm going to pop this onto a cookie sheet and put them in the refrigerator for about a half an hour and then I'll be back and we'll put these in the oven. We'll be back guys. Okay guys, we're back. Our cookie roll here is nice and solid. We're going to take it out of the wrap. And then I'm just going to cut off the ends just so that I can have a nice straight edge. I'll cook these, but I'll, I'll save those for myself. And I actually, I think I said to put these in the refrigerator. I put them in the freezer for about 30 minutes. I think they just cut easier. And then you're just going to cut them at about a quarter of an inch thick. I like that. And look at that, how fun that is. Be nice for a picnic table, for a snack. So that's how thick we want them. You know, and you don't have to just make them with the red, white, and blue. If you're doing this for a baby shower, you know, you can do them pink and white or pink and blue, baby blue. That would be real cute as well. Or a birthday. I have the oven preheating at 350 degrees and we're going to pop these in there for about 12 minutes. You know, check your oven, everybody's is different. Okay guys, these are going to go into the oven. Look at how cute that looks. Okay, and I'll be back to show you after they're ready. Okay guys, the cookies are ready. I'm going to bring you in for a close up. Look at that. That would make a great design for a picnic table, for your dinner table, for a snack, for whatever you want to do with these cookies. You can put them in some little uh, cookie bags, put a little ribbon on them, red, white, and blue ribbon, and I mean that will be the star of the show there. And look at that. Look at how pretty that looks. I just think that's so adorable. I'm going to leave the recipe guys in the description box below. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're down there. I did leave the cookies in the oven at a 350 degree temperature and I left mine in there for 13 minutes. Now these cookies are soft on the inside. As you can see the edges are crispy. Real, I mean super good cookie. It's not overly sweet. This is a recipe that I use for my basic sugar cookies. I know you'll enjoy it. I'll have many more recipes using this recipe for the holidays. Look at that. 
Delicious. Let me take a bite. Mmm. Good. Please share my video on your social media, guys. It sure helps us get noticed on uh, YouTube and helps uh, helps us pop up on the search bar. And if you leave a comment, it's even better. If you have any questions about the recipe or anything, leave it in the comments below, guys, and I will get back with you. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.